Your A's get you A's, your boys, I'm back here with another video, and in this video today, guys, we're going to be going over and talking about if the new Galaxy Opal Manu Ginobili is worth you guys grinding for an NBA 2K24, my team, or if there's some other things that you can grind that is going to be better off for you. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is this. The only way I recommend grinding for Manu Ginobili, the only way, is if you can combine it with grinding Austin Reeves. Now, why and what do I mean by that? Well, here's what I'm going to say. The things you can get done in the Austin Reeves grind or, or as you're grinding for Manu Ginobili, like you can get two out of the things done. What am I talking about? You can get this done and the triple threat blocks. The triple threat blocks, one of the most difficult challenges, and then the Wild West points in the paint, obviously you can get done. Even these assists with Lakers players, obviously you can get done. So you can knock three out of these things done out of the Austin Reeds grind as you're grinding for Manu Ginobili. So that's the one thing I want to say that I'm personally doing. Second thing is this. I think Manu Ginobili is actually really good in my team. Now, why? I think his defense is off the charts good. Hall of Fame 94 feet. Has his release, which a lot of people might be like, is it that good? I think it's pretty solid. It's the same release his Amethyst card had. It's just on very quick now. And now the new Manu Ginobili does have the Kobe Bryant uh, dribble style with some decent sigs as well. So I'm going to go to play now quickly to show you what his release looks like on normal timing so that you guys can see what it does look look like when it's all the way sped up when it is on very quick so obviously on normal timing it's going to be a little slower quite a bit slower compared to what it is on very quick but you guys can see it's not that bad and this is on normal timing think of this on very quick what that would be like it's going to be really solid in my team so you got a gary Trent base on on very quick you got kobe dribble style you got elite defense and if you're playing the game and you don't have the best shooting guards in the game it is 100% worth your time to, to, to go grind out Manu Ginobili. I've been playing the game off and on a little bit already today, and I'm already at 13 wins, slowly making my way towards Mr. Manu Ginobili. Now, again, one of the main reasons I'm doing it is because I'm going to get Austin Reeves as well, which is a big thing. If you can combine the two, your backcourt really can be Austin Reeves and Manu Ginobili. And it's a relatively easy grind. Meanwhile, while you're grinding triple threat offline, you're going to get MT. You're going to get an Inferno pack. You're going to work your way towards Chris Middleton. It is, in my opinion, worth your time. Because what else are you, what else are you going to grind today, guys? The leap year content is absolutely horrible. There's really nothing to look at with the leap year content. It's horrible. And so, I mean, you got to set your sights on something a little different. And for me... That is obviously Manu Ginobili. So, I mean, that I, I personally think even compared to like the rest of these cards, obviously Tyson Chandler is really good. But compared to like Michael Porter Jr., I think Manu Ginobili is better compared to, uh, I mean, even if you look at this card, whoever, uh, Tyson Chandler is obviously elite. Elton Brand, Manu is way better. If you look at this clutch time reward, Wesley Person, Manu is way better. Then you look at Chris Mullen, Manu is way better. So I know the content that we got today was really bad. I'm not trying to sit up here and, and gaslight you guys and say it was decent content because the content was horrible. But Manu Ginobili within that content is actually pretty solid. 100 triple threat offline wins. Let's say the average person, and I'm just going to say on average, you get through a, wins, uh, a win in four minutes because it really shouldn't take you that long. If you get through a win in four minutes, you're looking at just over a six hour grind for Manu Ginobili, which... Is it a long grind? It's somewhat long, but it's not anything crazy in my opinion. It's not something that, that is like undoable. I think you can get Manu and have success with him. And the nice part about it is it's triple threat offline. Now, what is the best method I suggest? So this is what I'm doing right now. Again, I'm grinding points in the paint with Leonard Miller blocks with Victor Wembanyama. If you're trying to get through games as quickly as possible, run Corver with a couple of golds. If you don't have Corver, I mean, it really is up to you. If you have Steph, he's a good guy to run. Obviously, Kobe's a good guy to run. Anybody that's just a pure spot up guy is a great guy to run. Now, what is my method as I'm grinding blocks? As I'm grinding points in the paint right now with Leonard Miller. Well, a lot of it depends on my matchup. If I get a matchup in which blocks are doable, really easy with Wemby, then I'll get them done. But the one thing I don't want to do is sacrifice time. Now, obviously, points in the paint with Leonard Miller, you're going to have to at least sacrifice a little bit of time, but it's not too crazy. Now, once I get my dunks with Leonard Miller done, then I'm going to plug in a Lakers player to really start working on uh, 
to start working on that grind, right? Assist with Lakers players. That's another one of the main things that I do need to grind. Now, obviously, again, if you don't have Leonard Miller and don't have Wemby and you're not worried about that, you're just chucking threes with Korver. The more threes you take with Korver, the better off you're going to be. Why do I like Korver? He's got one of the best releases and such a high three ball that I think he is really tough to beat. But for me, I just send Leonard Miller on a back cut right away. Find him in transition, get an easy dunk. And again, those points in the paint are going to be done as sooner rather than later. Now, getting blocks, right? SGA, not the best guy because he likes to take the mid-range jumper, but still definitely is doable. Obviously, in this game, I'm probably not going to get it done because I don't feel like extending the game either. And so, I mean, it's just going to be one game and I'm not going to get, you know, the box. But that's okay because Leonard Miller points in the paint are going on. I'm going to get my win anyways. And I mean, all I got to do is get a 25 uh, more games with it. So not super crazy, uh, in, you know, in that right as well. But definitely, if you don't have Wemby, plug in a different guy that you can get easy blocks with, what I recommend. But even for Korver, just pull up, man. Once I get a couple of dunks, couple of points in a paint with uh, Leonard Miller, after that, it's it's over with. I am just going to torch the Nets with Mr. Kyle Korver. There's a block with Wemby. So now that I got one block, now I kind of want to just continue going, see what happens. Maybe I'll score with Leonard Miller, see if I can't get another block as well. Now, Manu, again, is he going to play on this account? We'll have to see. I doubt it just because, I, I mean, I'm a really big Paul George fan. I like Paul George more than basically any other of the shooting guards in my team. I think he is so, so, so good. But my whole thing is I want Manu to go out there and just see what he can do. I want to see what that release is like on very quick. Want to see what he's like with that new dribble style as well. All of those things. Now, I'm at 17 points. I've been in this game for less than three minutes. And I've kind of low-key been, I don't want to say trolling, but not not scoring as quickly as possible, those types of things. Like, I've, I've been trolling, I want to say, at least a little bit. Like, game could have easily been over if I was taking every shot serious with Korver. This game would be way over. Trying to get blocks, obviously going to slow the pace of play down, those types of things. If I get a block with Wemby here... I was going to say, I might have to extend the game. But for me, the blocks aren't going to happen in this game. It's A-OK. -okay. Corver green light special to end the game. And just like that, game, set, match. While you're doing this, you're going to notice your level go way up. Pop those XP boosts if you have them. But my goal is to have Manu uh, somewhat soon. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, sit here and grind all day. But I mean, again, what else is there for you guys to grind right now? No other game mode is absolutely worth your time unless you don't have Tyson Chandler, unless you're trying to sweat my team unlimited. In my opinion, Manu Ginobili is worth your grind. Say what you want. You're going to get MT as you go up. I think Manu Ginobili is a really solid shooting guard in my team. When I get him, I'm going to do a gameplay with him probably in the next couple of days. So you guys can see what he's like. Same thing with MPJ. Gameplay probably coming within the next couple of days. Try to combine the Austin Reeves grind with the Manu Ginobili grind. After I get Manu, I should have this done, should have this done, should have this done. Austin Reeves, Manu Ginobili, the backcourt, coming very soon to you guys. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.